Mel from Sewing with Mel here. I did a video a while back for Got Interfacing where I showed how you could iron out wrinkles in interfacing and still keep the fusible properties. Okay, so you would be wanting to iron it onto something but peel it right off. And I did that on something called a fusimat. Okay, this is a fusimat. And it's, it's good for applique, for things you need to see through. So you'd put your stuff down and put that over the top of it and then you could iron on top of that without actually touching your fabric, okay? So in one of the Facebook groups, there was a question, well, can I use a silicone baking mat or can I use parchment paper? The answer is yes. So this is a silicone baking mat, okay? I got it at Sam's Club, it came in a pack of three um, small sizes, and I'm actually quite happy to have a smaller size now. And if you have a wrinkled up piece of interfacing, like that, make sure you got the right side. You can lay it right on that baking mat. I'm using my uh, mini press here. The temperature on my mini press is 360. And does it come off? Yes, it does, quite nicely, okay? Can you use parchment paper? Yes, you can. Let's do it on parchment paper. Fusible side down. It doesn't take much to get the wrinkles out, so you don't have to do it for very long. Let it cool for a second. Came right off. I've got one other thing that you can use. If you print out shipping labels, you know how you have that uh, backing sheet that your label sticks to? You can do it on that too. Put the sticky, the fusible side down, sticky side. It's kind of sticky right now because it's hot. Smooth it out. Peels right off. Now, after all of that, is it going to stick to my piece of fabric? Well, let's just see. Now, you're actually supposed to do it for like 12 seconds, but we're just seeing if it still sticks. Okay, let it cool for a second. These do get hot, so if you're ironing on it, don't stick your knuckles on it because it holds heat for a little bit, okay? Did it work? It sure did. It's still warm, so I could peel it off if I had to, but it's fused on there. So the answer is yes, you can use a baking mat, you can use parchment paper, and the backside of label, label paper. Have a great day.